Now, autumn is all around us, which makes Maria and I very happy. So she is here today to take sweater weather yeah. to a whole new level by putting sweaters on our drinks exactly. because apparently they are cold. They're chilly. They are freezing cold. No, so here's the thing. I love the look of flannel. I feel and plaid, all of that looks that we get to wear this time of That's year. True. So I wanted to come up with a way of repurposing some, maybe some of our old shirts and use them in a really fun way for all these things that we're doing right now, like hay rides, tailgates, and all these fall parties, like you know Halloween's coming up and we're going to be outside Football doing all games. that. Everything. Yeah. So I am using a repurposed shirt, repurposing the shirt into. Co we call them cozies, koozies. It depends on where you live. There's Co a bit of debate. <laughs> There's some here. debate. If but it's a koozie or a cozy, I think you know. You guys at home, please write in. Feel free to get yes, into the conversation. Yes, let us know. I think it is where you are geographically. In Absolutely, yeah. and uh, and actually using them to make some coasters as well. They're super cute. It's really easy, and I think it's a fun, festive way to enjoy fall. All right, let's get started. What do we do first? Okay, well we have our shirts here, so you can see. And I really wanted to make this um, a no sew project. I like so it. So with this, no pun intended. So, uh, it's actually just the cuffs nice. of a shirt. So, Deb, I have yours okay. here, and you're gonna do this alongside me. What you wanna do, I actually just like to take it and just remove it first. So just, you don't have to do any kind of- Cut a little extra? Yeah, just cut some extra off. And what this allows you to do is you can then get really close. So just do this and set your shirt aside because you'll use it in a minute. Okay. And then I like to cut it this way. So kind of have it flat like this. That way, and obviously you can change it if you're right-handed or left-handed, you do this and you get really close to where the seam is. Ooh, I like it. Exactly, so this way you don't have to worry about things fraying or anything like that. Mm. If you you are struggling with getting any kind of fray, you could just potentially use a fray check. And that's a product that you just, it's like this, uh, like little, almost looks like a glue. Mm -hmm. And you would just do it along here and that would prevent it from fraying at all. And okay. that's just, truthfully, you should be fine just like that. And you have your little thing that goes like this. Nice. So, with that said, I'm gonna grab the cup. Oh, no, you're good. So, what you can Beautiful. do is, it's, it's so easy and they're so that. cute. What you do is you button it up. And what you can do is put them on. Wait, am I done? You're done. That's Look it. Look at that. That's it. And it just slips on. But I have a solution. If, for instance, you are like you have smaller, like Wrists? some women's, yeah. You, if your cuffs are going to be smaller than what the what this is, so for instance, I have the the thing here, the cup here. I'm going to grab a hair tie, a good old fashioned hair tie. And what you do is you actually take this, loop it around. And actually, here, I'll do this part first. So you do this through here, and you loop it around the button, and this will fit onto any size. Oh my size. gosh, Maria, let me ask you if you got this idea from when uh, we were pregnant and you oh my gosh! your jeans. Every pregnant woman at home knows oh. what I'm talking about. You take the hair tie and put it on your jean so that it actually still fits. I goes, did that. So that is I. the funniest thing I have heard all day. I haven't thought about that in a little while because my baby's too. That's exactly what my pants looked like when I was pregnant. Yeah. So that's exactly what I did. A nice little pregnancy hat that is and a so cozy hat. funny. Okay. That or cozy, I whatever do. one you like. All right, so now that's it, we've done it. <laughs> okay, so now we're done, yes. And we can use this extra material to make the coasters. coasters. So this is where it becomes really fun and you can actually Are they just... coasters or coosters? Depending, no, <laughs> it, depends on where <laughs> it depends on where That's you're from too. Okay, so we have our extra material here and all you do oh. is cut like a, a bigger a bigger piece. Yeah, I have right. someone, uh, some cut for you, Deb, and what you can do is, I'll just move mine to the side, and uh, so what you wanna do is place your coaster. So these are cork coasters. You can get these at the craft supply store. If you can't find actual ones that are already cut, you can cut them yourself. They're really easy. Right. So I cut it, it does not have to be perfect. So I'm doing it in a way where I have about a half of an inch longer than- but the plaid is kind of great because it gives you a bit of a template, lines. right? Exactly. And what's so great is if you do mess up, it's, they're kind of foolproof. You have so much extra fabric and it doesn't really matter. So there's a couple different ways you can go about attaching this. When I was kind of playing, uh, I, you could use a Fabri-Tac, which Fabri-Tac is what we have right here. Um, it's a glue that is great for fabrics and allows you to put things through the wash. And uh, it's you do have to wait a little while for it to dry. So if you want that instant gratification, you could use a, a hot glue gun. Also, what I liked to do, Deb, I liked mm -hmm. to uh, grab a little bit of spray adhesive. This is extra, you do not have to do this, but I have spray, oh, spray adhesive around as I spray it on the table. You could do that, and this kind of allows you to have that great, like, sturdy, flatness um right there when you put it down. Yeah, you could do that too. Fun. And so what you do then is grab your hot glue and do the outside like that, 
Okay. And you want some, here, yeah. there you go. Oops, sorry. And you can do, uh, you can cut the corners too if you need, like kind of snip through like that, and that will to help you fold, fold exactly. But you can, uh, as I do that, I would cut off this excess as well. And then you're done, and you have your little coaster, and everything matches, and it's super, super cute. Oh so for all gosh. this, I would cut this extra off. You know what else this would be great for? For, like, you know, if you have a kid going away to college and living in the dorms, or something, wouldn't this be cute for their, their little dorm room? There is so many things it's that you adorable. could do with this. So here's the thing, I feel like this time of year, um, especially things that are festive, like you have your tailgates, you have your hay rides, you have all the things you're doing, you could potentially use almost any material for this. So we like the idea of the plaid. Um, and so with this said too, Deb, you can see how it doesn't look as appealing here. Yeah. I have a piece of felt, so you can cover it like you just did there, okay. or you could do a little bit of uh, the I'm losing my Red hot glue. Felt. You could use some felt and just cover and just it. Just match it or there. a piece of blue exactly. felt. Exactly. So you could, for yours, for instance, you could use something. I could use that. You could use that, but you could cover the whole thing too. It doesn't well, matter. I wasn't and you able have to this, so that way it kind of slides around and you're good to go. So Maria, cover it like that, and it matches. I'd like to say, cheers. Happy pumpkin spice season to our koozie cozies. Our koozie cozies and our coosters. <laughs> for full instructions, you guys can visit HallmarkChannel.com.